Okay, so I've been thinking of building my own portfolio website for a long time now and obviously I'm not going to code it myself, I'm going to vibe code it because portfolio website is basically a relative simple concept and I should not spend a lot of time doing something which can be obviously automated and shout out to like this Theo's video which gave me the inspiration of creating a portfolio website. He compares like this 30 sort of portfolio websites and there are some crazy ones built in 3.js but I guess the good portfolio website is one which is which conveys the functional aspect and is not that aesthetic pleasing as well so that the customer gets lost in the UI and does not actually get what impact you are producing. So yeah, I'll try to code this portfolio website, wipe code and this is the whole process. Okay, so this is the website which I really liked and this is one which I'm gonna be mimicking now. So what I'm gonna do is basically create a new directory, uh, CV personal project, and our portfolio, I guess, and portfolio. And I'll open a code terminal in this folder and let me initialize Claude in it. Let's give it some time while it initialize. Let me just copy on the URL for this website. Um, I'll go for Claude 4.5 and I'm going to take a leap of faith now. It might be a small video. It might be a big video. I would probably deploy it as well, but I'll take up a leap of faith and I'll ask it key. I have this website analyze it and create a portfolio website for me just like this i think this let's give it a minimal prompt and see if it can create or not enter and while it goes okay it's asking me for allowing it done I hope it asks me the stack I want to create it. I'll use Next.js and TypeScript. Perfect. It should have asked me because I might want to use a different one, but this is fine as well. And while it works, I'll just show you the first draft now and I'll go and grab some coffee. Okay, so I am back and it has created the website. Let's have a look on what it has created. So localhost 3001. Okay, there is some error. Okay, the first prompt did not work. It did not recognize the error. It should have done that. So there are errors. Connect. I'll just give it some slack because it did not test, it should have, but. Okay, so it started the server again. Let's try it out. Don't have big hopes with it, but let's see. Okay, so it created something, but it's not quite as impressive as the other website was. See, the font is really nice in this one, while in this one, it's not that great. Let me ask it to do a few more tweaks. I think it tried that one package and when that did not work, it reverted to a different package which did not give the same look. Okay, so it gave me some output. Let me just give it a try. Okay, so let's see what are the differences here and with the website which this gave us. So if I refresh it, so there's some animations which we can do. Let's let's actually create a note of what all differences that there is. Okay, so let's write uh, animations. What? Okay, animations, right? And then it there should be the size of header, right? 
size of header let's say let's say if i go up here yeah right so the header difference is there right and the font inconsistency like this is darker and then this is lighter right so we can just give it font inconsistency font and color font width or color then consistency i think the spelling is wrong but it's fine okay there is a bit of orange in it but ours replace that with blue i am fine with that i don't really mind this can be better the links can be better so the fourth thing will be links can be better right so there we go there we go okay that's it uh let's do one thing let's use chat gpt and let's replace the details with what we have another thing that i wanted to have is project to contain this sample view of the live project right so let me give it some data i have live project or actually let me ask chat gpt so these are the placeholders fill them up with real detail it actually gave me the Macopy AI is not my project. I can actually just put take this one and let's populate our project first. So here this is my project. Wait, let me ask it one thing. What I want is to have a live of my project website to the right of the project and description basically divide the project into two row columns and left one should have title and description and right should be small rectangle showing the live view of the project this is my one project posted on tiktok.copybounce.com fetch description from this let's see what it does give it a big enough prompt Okay, so we'll have to tell it to not increase the size of the project tab but give the project preview in the same small size also add the preview on the home tab as well second prompt first one never works but let's see all right so it gave me this project uh and i do not want it in the next line i want it in the same and basically divide the project row into columns and the left one should the title and description and right column should contain the project preview. It has done a good work, but that I want the project up here and the preview to the right. That's not what I want. While it does all of this, I can just create my dummy data, I guess. So let's see. Let's check what this guy has done now. Thank God, it finally made it. I really like this one. The preview is nice. One little thing, if it didn't zoom it, but 
I guess it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I won't uh, remove all the other projects and leave it short and add this project as well. Uh, what's the project name? Let me just quickly see. Uh, Mars. Yeah. I created this a while ago. At least the portfolio should have uh, like two projects. So let me just add this one as well. Let it fetch and I hope it does a nice work. While it creates that, let's create all the title and everything else. Okay, so let's see what it has done. Wow, this is impressive. Matlab. It has done what I can use. This is like a mini web browser. I can literally use the project up here, which is pretty impressive. I, I, I can put my GitHub URL up here and I can, I think generate readme as well. Wow. This I can click and it is saying, please enter a URL. Wow. I can use the project up here. Like I really like the idea. And okay. Let me give it a replace my details. Yeah. I've given it my details. I hope it will replace them while it does. Let me just create other details. Okay. So it has done this, but there's no my name at the top. So the Python developer is very old. There's some minor tweaks. I'll fast forward them and I hope it was an excellent dev only. What he has his name. I didn't think it will be so dumb, but I guess it's fine. A little better, something to work with here. I've given it work details to add, which I asked ChatGPT to create and it created for me. So name, AI, work is there, good. I want logs to be down so move project on top of log and move log to the last page i want work experience then project then blog so that should be the idea okay so work projects and blogs good now i'll actually accept everything it is giving me so that as keep everything there. I think this is a good enough portfolio. Let me show you up here. If I do the plus 301, I think it is a pretty decent portfolio now. Like the, I know it's not exactly what that guy has, but he has done a bit of animation and stuff. But I, if I press B, it goes to the blog post. If I press B, B, it goes to the project. And this is also not bad. Like the projects tab is very nice actually. So let's go on to our home page and this links you can put like this will be a quick link. So done. Let's do one thing. Let's get some deployment files or some helm chart and let's put it on my Kubernetes cluster. All right. So these are the changes that I made. I created host as Mokopi bugs and this as also Mokopi bugs.com. I added couple of ingress routes for this one namespace and services and everything stays the same workflow for file stays the same. Now what I have done is I can show you over here. I went to hostinger because I have my hosting service and I have a domain over here, but I didn't register the Mokopi bugs endpoint yet. So what I did was I went to hostinger. This is my hosting platform. 
I went to manage DNS and over here I added a www route and also I added a simple at the rate which will point to the uh, which this will point to my accurate like alias record of my Kubernetes. So now in my GitHub also what I did was this is where I pushed it. And if we go into the workflow file, actions, workflows, so both of them passed. The jobs are completed. And basically, if I go and show you my Kubernetes cluster, this is up here, I go over here and connect to my Kubernetes cluster. And it's running. So my portfolio deployment is running up here, and now it's time for big reveal. A copy bugs, copy bugs dot com. Enter. There we go. I tweaked it a little bit. I made the highlights perfect, and yeah, there we go. Live project, live project, and we're here also. Live project, live project. So yeah. I think this is pretty great. I added my links as well, made them blue as well, improved the font and it looks good now. So a couple of tweaks and then deployed it. That's it. We have a portfolio website ready and all it took was a couple of prompts. So thanks for watching.